Hey, today we're taking a look at these IO Poso brand pickleball paddles. These are, you know, one of the brands that you're going to find on Amazon that's kind of into the leisure sport category. These are not USAPA approved paddles and they're really designed as kind of a gift and for beginners. Um, I think these came in at about 7.7 ounces when I weighed them, which is really nice. The grips are pretty comfortable. Uh, they're a little short for me. I like to use a two-handed backhand, so they're a little short for me, but beginners may find these uh, very nice. They're lightweight. I find found them easy to swing, and yeah, I mean, they appear to be pretty durable. My son and I hit some balls around. You're going to see some footage of that later, and they I didn't feel any buzzing, any rattling, or anything like that while I was hitting with these paddles. And they run for about 40 bucks for one paddle. And I think if you get a pair in a, in a kit, they're around 70 bucks. So, you know, most people who are buying uh, individual paddles, they're gonna be paying in the 40 to $50 range. And I think as far as most of the leisure paddles that you're gonna see out there, these are just as good quality as any of the other ones that you're gonna find out there. Uh, again, very much for a beginner. It's very poppy. There's no grit on the surface. And so control is going to come more from how you strike the ball uh, than from the paddle itself. So let's hit some of that footage and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Hey, so we are out at Gavin Park and we're going to give these I Oposo paddles a try. We got the geometric design here with... Uh, just kind of more of a flat grip and then this kind of pink flowery design it's got more of a ridged grip they both feel pretty good in my hands and um, edge guards look good they're lightweight I think when I weighed them they were about 7.7 .7 ounces so pretty lightweight uh, they're durable and uh, they appear to be durable you know I mean the edge guards aren't loose or anything like that they sound good uh, there's no grit on these and uh, yeah we'll check them out and hit a few balls around and let you know what we think about it so we'll just start with some dinking so yeah they feel really good I'm not feeling any vibrations. Let's start over. Not feeling any vibrations. I'm not hearing any kind of buzzing. And uh, yeah, they're a little poppy, right? Because they're they're just polypropylene, um, so they're not really going to give us too much. We're going to start hitting some longer shots here. Nice little drop there. Another drop. Another drop. It's a little high, but let's try and get it a little lower. That's a good drop. Uh, that's a terrible drop. We'll serve some balls. We'll go a uh, odd side here. Uh, he snuck up. Ah, he tried to get the line. Let's go to the even side. I don't know if I'm in the frame here, but we'll see. All right, we're going to serve some balls here. <laughs> serve one. Serve one to me. Yeah, really poppy. You can hear that they're pretty loud too. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Let's go from the odd side. Yeah. Let's do it again.
Oh, that one went flying. Let's do it again. Let's do it again, same angle. Long again. So hit me one this way. So you can get some, let's do some volleys. Come on, get them over. Put away. So the Io Poso paddles, good beginner paddle, I think. Um, the sweet spot is pretty small on these, you know, you don't really expect that much. They're pretty firm, you're not really feeling a lot of give in the core. And, uh, but otherwise, I think if you're a beginner and you're looking for a paddle that you can find on Amazon fairly inexpensively, I think you can get a pair of these for 70 bucks and it'll come with a couple balls. Uh, individually, I think they're about 40 bucks, so a good value. And um, I think a lot like, a lot like uh, many of the paddles you find on Amazon, these are good starter paddles if you're just starting out and you don't want to go with some of the more, uh, you know, a lot of the big box stores these days sell these beginner sets and they're, they're wood inside, and that's just not gonna give you a good feel. You want something that's at least got a honeycomb polypropylene core and this is going to serve you well I think. All right so like I said pretty happy with these paddles as far as the category that they fit in you know the leisure paddles. I think I mentioned that it's a very hard surface you're not I'm not feeling any give when I squeeze this paddle so the ball is definitely going to pop off. You're going to want to use some of those softer beginner balls when you play with this paddle because otherwise, and especially if you're a beginner, otherwise it's just gonna, the ball's just gonna come flying off the paddle and you're gonna have trouble controlling it. So yeah, that's the IO Poso paddles. They come in several different designs. You can check them out in the link below in the description. And yeah, if you use that link, uh, I get a commission from Amazon for them. So. I appreciate you watching, and if you like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks. Bye.